One of the things you've probably noticed already in sharing with my prayer journey this Lent is that for me, prayer is about something that goes on in my head. This isn't the same for everybody. And one of the things about Lent is that it gives one the opportunity to learn. Now, hopefully, some of you will have joined in with me uh, and many others in the diocese, and indeed across the province, is that from March the 1st until uh, November the 1st, we're doing a, a kind of walk. Uh, when we say it's a virtual walk, it's not a virtual walk because we are actually walking, uh, but it is virtual in the sense we're not actually walking to Glasgow. We're, we're walking as if we're walking to Glasgow. We're walking the distance between St David's and Glasgow, but we're doing it around our own area because, of course, it's lockdown. Uh, and so I am trying to do the two miles a day uh, from March the 1st uh, to November the 1st, apart from Sundays, uh, crossing the distance between uh, St David's and Glasgow uh, to draw attention to the Climate Change Conference, uh, GOP26, uh, uh, the climate change conference in Glasgow this year. Uh, but I'm also going to try and learn about prayer walking so that I can take prayer out of my head and into life. Because God isn't in my head. God is in creation as well. God is outside my reality. God is in the reality God has created. And I will find God in the real world. That's why people go on pilgrimage. And uh, after our year of discipleship, we are going as a diocese to have a year of pilgrimage. And I'm going to start learning how to do that in this Lent as I practice prayer walking. Uh, so perhaps you can join me in your walks. Those of you who are doing uh, the walk to Glasgow can perhaps do little prayer walks as well. But otherwise, also try learning new ways of praying. Perhaps it isn't prayer walking. But don't try just the same ways of praying. Learn different ways of praying. Those of you that perhaps haven't tried praying in silence or repeating uh, um, arrow prayers or using the office, i.e. morning and evening prayer or saying Compline or repeating um, one word or using a scripture verse, try praying in a different sort of way this, this Lent. Uh, practice something different. I'm going to do prayer walking. Or you could paint, um, do a picture. Uh, try expressing a prayer to God by using uh, painting or drawing. Uh, try a different sort of prayer. Experiment or just sit in silence. Or do it just in your everyday tasks. Today, ask God to meet you in a new way, in a different way. Ask God to surprise you because this is a relationship and not a hurdle to jump over, not a task to complete, not something you'll get a certificate in. Ask God to surprise you today in a new way so that you may learn something new about the prayer relationship you have with God and it's unique.